Right, okay, you're joining us in the middle of a mission with Troubleshooters. It's a turn-based RPG, tactical, XCOM style. And here we go, there's an enemy over there. The Spoonist Assaulter. This is a cult that um, believes there's only one holy spoon god to rule them all. But yeah, the game can get a bit crazy. Each turn you control one of your characters and you get this blue zone, which means you can move anywhere in that. Still have enough vigor to use another attack but you can use all your vigor all your uh, movement and go extra further so it is very tactical the maps are pretty decent size there we are in this corner now we've there are heroes and there's a spoonist and these are there and the assaults from the um, essentially the police they're on our team go 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 so enemy activity, you see where they go. He just threw a Molotov at me. Very nice, thank you. Again, you get items around, so you can take the detour or the risk of going to collect them. Or you can, you know, focus on the task in hand. So, like all these games, each character's got their own attributes, the, st the strengths and the weaknesses, and it's all about playing. Keeping that in mind as you're playing, so I'll take some cover here. I'll see, can I get a ranged hit on these guys? Ah, I can only get... Oh, here we go. Sweet spot for two of them, but they quite low percentages, but worth a hit, worth a try. Nice, okay, we've got a good hit on one. He's got a bleed. Oh, he's having a fight with the Tigers, uh, Tima, they're called. They're yeah, pretty much wild animals in this particular zone. Okay, this girl, she's got um, a lot of fire based skills and martial arts skills, so she wants to get right up in the face. What's also good about these fighting each other is, you know, it's one less boss, one less enemy for us to kill. So let's see, we can either get up in his face or let's take cover here. Okay. We're in a bush as well, so we get the bush advantages. Which is down there. Okay, so let's try, no, wrong button. 49% to hit him. 17, let's try skill number two, I want number three. No. Number four, flash beam. Any good? No. 49% for this one, let's give it a go. Yeah, beautiful. This is one of the police officers, the enforcer, uh, the striker, sorry. These are uh, very martial arts. You get different type of officers, some with shields, some with SMGs. So we can use this officer to get this part. Open chest. So a nice jacket. If it's no good for the officer, which often it isn't to be fair, um, it'll just go in the inventory. You can equip items as you're playing as well, change it up. So let's see where we headed. Let's use the remainder of their moves. Let's try and flank them a little bit around here. This girl, we've not long had this girl, so she's still relatively low level, but she's uh, the healer of the group so far. The team's just getting started. We've only got four main heroes, but you can have you're building them quite a big roster. This guy's got an SMG, so let's see if we can hit anyone. No, there's no one in range. Get a bit closer, but we won't have a go. Same with this guy, may as well get him up here. Yeah, they're still all well tucked in, well covered at the minute, so we're just encroaching on them. You wait there. 
This guy is essentially the leader of the gang, he's the strongest Albus, he's got the, the best melee, he's got a nice um, sword. Yeah, he's got he's got a nice sword class. Um, he's, he's got one of his best skills is like a counter attack. If you get up in the face, they're pretty much the dead. So we, we'll stand there, we won't be able to hit him. But now if this guy tries to move, he'll hit him. If this guy hits him, he'll hit him back. So this guy's stuck for now. Can we do anything? 85% from here, yeah, worth a go. Nice. Yeah! How many spooners? Six spooners left, two teamers left. Don't want to get too close to him because then he'll get a free hit on us. Electric baton, 45%. No, 50%. No, I could throw a flash grenade at him. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna be tough. Blind and noise, nice. Oh, wow, yeah, what did they say? Looks like he's gonna be tough. Huh, that team. Growl? Silver? Oh, don't tell me it's that girl's friend. Wow, we've only just got this girl. Silver, no! The group of teamers have left the site. Ah, okay. Oh, he just had to kill one of us first, didn't he? Typical. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it a little bit easier. Just a spoon us to defeat. Yeah, this game's... It's, it's got everything. It's got water, lightning, fire, burn, wind, frost... Poison, blind, noise, it's just got all different types of elements, attributes. It, can, it, it is overwhelming at first to get involved. 19%, 47 no, I'll go with a 52, worth a try. Oh, beautiful. Ah, uh, Albus has just leveled up, which is nice. The, you don't get to choose where you want the points, it's auto level up. You, you get more mastery points for skills and weapons and I'll show you in the menu after this level. Right, so where are we? Let's have a look at the map. We're down here, there's a spoonist up there. So I think we need to start heading that way. Only 27% chance of hit, but it's more just about getting them in the right area. Yeah. 52%. Okay, took a little bit of damage. When they have these little crown symbols on them, there, next to his HP bar, that's um, usually they got a rare item or a decent item. So it's always worth trying to get them. Figure, is there anyone that needs healing? Um, this officer maybe? Can we get close enough? What's the range on her? Or can she get a good hit? Or do we heal? Yeah, we do heal this officer. Not great, but I say we've only just got her. She's still a low level. Okay, we got a little bit. He's bleeding out now, a little bit. 94%. Look at this. Nice. Yeah, he tried to move then. And because he tried to move, Albus got the hit on him, which we've seen before. Aradine's just leveled up. Beautiful. Mastery required. Yeah, the all it's it's a bit hard to explain explain. It is very tricky how all these skills and buffs and that work. But you get what they call masteries, almost like perks or buffs. And um, before each mission you can customize what what hero has what buffs and you kinda of cater your squad to what you know, do you go more attacking buff like this one is or you use training but it's I say it's tricky to explain but you'll see when we go back to the menus. So how many spoons have we got left? Four spooners. Let's just run one up here. Ah, these little symbols. That means you're over this way. But the enemy won't move until we get in one of these zones. 
when he sees us, so you get a little opportunity to regroup, reorganize, even get a free chest. Ask a bleed, item acquired, is it better than what we've got now? No, 232, attack power, 160, so we'll just send it to the inventory. Ah, oh, yeah, I messed up. Ah, oh, well, at least we got something close. 63%, 58, let's go for that one. Nice. Another mastery acquired, kindling, fire SP gain by using fire ability, increased by 25%. I'm going to put him right there to cause some trouble. Or can we get there and then a spell? Will that work? Yeah, okay. Oh, nearly killed one. Not to worry about the gun. 100% chance, wow, okay. 100% chance, you don't see them very often. 49, 23, let's go for that one. 49. Dodge. Counter attack, ouch. But we counter attacked his counter attack. Oh, he's surrounded now, come on. There we go. There we go. Victory is mine. Mission complete. So yeah, as I said, we got our four main heroes at the moment. We started with Albus, then we picked up Sion. Then we got Hero Irene, who's a bit of a rebel, a bit of an outcast. And then we've just recently got Anne, who's very young and weak, but she's a perfect healer. And then they're the police force who just, um, they're not always there, but they're there on some maps to help us out. This is the Don, the bartender. We, we have an office at the back of his bar, and you got to essentially pay rent every four or five battles. Which, to be fair, the rent's very small. I thought it was going to be a a lot at first, but we seem to be making a lot more money than it to even be bothered by the rent. 100 vil. Um, by paying our tab on time, we increase our friendship. Oh, and your heroes, you've also got to pay these. Because we're like a, a gang that helps out the police. we got to recruit and pay our members. I do have enough money for the bonus. I say money doesn't seem to be an issue at the minute. So you pay the basic salary of 70 vil. You can delay it, but friendship drops right down. Or you can give them a bonus, which gives them a, a big friendship boost, so why, why not? Maybe I'll give them a bonus. She's, this is like the motivation, how uh, happy they are, how confident they are, and they're normally at max at the minute. One thing I was disappointed about, there's no voice, no voiceovers, there's a lot of text, a lot of information, but no you know, no conversations, you've got to read everything. Which is fine, but I, was, uh, I didn't know that going into the game. Okay, so this is the main office where... You, you kind of, you hope you, you choose everything, your items, your skills, your equipment, missions, your old missions, and it's, it's this is the information, hope you can, everything to you. Every, this is outline of the city, all these different missions need doing, gives you a breakdown of what's involved, what type of mission it will be, like this one, what the knives mean, a violent case, because this is police work we're doing, so it's not always just fighting thugs in the field, there is cases that go on, there is raids, there is fights, it's, there's gangs. And this one is a scenario case, which is essentially the story mission. You want to go, to, but I think we're very underleveled and not, not ready for this one yet. You can even go challenge mode. Activity report. This is, uh, how do you word this? This is the, every district around the city. Now, the more you do missions, the more people will get to know you. At the minute, we're only familiar in these two districts and they're very happy with us. In order to unlock more districts, yeah, it says up here, mission left on their reports. In order to unlock more districts, we've got a, a meet certain requirements, apply requirements. We need five reputation level and we also need Current number of missions completed has got to be 30, we, we're only up to 24. So it is a time based thing, you just got to keep working at it, work on what we can do and then keep going. When you unlock a residence, you get you can choose a perk and each perk is unique to the district. So it is a case of choosing what you want at the time, you can always change it, there's no problem changing them. But at the minute I'm looking at getting my reputation up, so with reputations for all southern districts increased by 10 when the mission is complete, which it just helps us 
on the southern district that's all full now so actually what we could do is take that one off now because we don't need any more maybe put on something like this information acquisition rates increased by 50 percent also the locations of enemies that are epic grade or above will be shown and what's this one yeah again resident districts increased by 10 we don't need that so yeah that perfect example same with this one sudden districts increased by 10 yeah we don't need it when completing a mission one armor with rank are supplied or do, do three potions with rank hair or higher rare or higher i'd rather go for the potions they're always handy right this is the company info our company name is called sasha we can always change that to whatever you want we'll call it the gaffers cost 1000 but again look at the budget we've got nearly 13000 and we've not really tried so when the bartender's coming up with a bill for 100 for rent it on you know, I've got it in my back pocket, it's not a problem. Leader of our group is Albus. Yeah, can we change the main character? Okay, didn't know you could do that. Company mastery expertise. Yeah, you can change this to, um, yeah, change these kind of perks for what your group does. At the minute, it's 50% um, masteries, chance of acquiring them. But, you know, you can increase your reward for money, increase your EXP. Yeah, so I've changed that to EXP gain by 25%, because that seems to be big, big right now. Next rent payment due in five missions. You can change the type of rent you want to pay. Okay, here's your roster. This one here is your roster of your current team you've got now, and you can see great swordsman, black mage, battle mage, shaman. I've chose them classes for them. You can go in here and change abilities after I think it was level ten. You got it. Change class, and it, there's so many options: swordsman, great swordsman, magic knight. Each one has pros and cons, different skills different layouts, different weapons, different perks, and it's just, it really is the type of game you, you just want to spend 100 hours on just, just to get to know what you're doing. And this is abilities, you can choose different weapons, take one out, put one in, again SP ability, that's kind of your special attack, you, only, you, you can't use it very often but it's there the emergencies don't want to save that because i don't know what i've just done and this is just for this character you can also change to the others again he's a lightning based black mage but he wasn't always a black mage he was just an elementalist and then i turned him to a black mage he unlocked a few more skills yeah uh, irene or hero irene they like to call her again changeability so many different skills battle mage martial artist fighter so you can even not use magic at all and just use more melee. Again, this is the individual perks. You can have them to be different playstyles. They like the personality, as it says there, different personalities. Lonely hero, and you get different effects, the different perks. It really is. To be fair, you don't know if you're doing right for wrong because there's that many ways you can play it. Look, I haven't unlocked change class for here yet. It has to be level 10 or more in order to... Okay, over here is where you change the items. They're rated by colour and stars as well, so you can get a two star blue weapon, which can't, mightn't be as good as the three star blue. But it's more than just attack power, it's also the, the perks you get with it. Critical hit damage, ESP power, move distance, there's, there's so much involved in this game, it's, it's absolutely unreal. It's a huge game, and I can see why it's had a lot of positive reviews, almost 6,000 positive reviews. Yeah, I've got about 20 hours into the game, and I feel like I've not even got going yet. I really do, I'm still, there's so much story, there's so much happening. Inventory, you get, you pick up a lot of items, a lot of it is just useless junk, which you're never going to use. I haven't even got anyone who can use an assault rifle yet. Which then takes us to the main pub area, where we unlock these dudes event eventually. Where this guy buys, so yeah, this guy, he sells weapons, bangles, potions... You know all kinds of stuff and you can also sell stuff if you want the money if you don't want the money go to this guy antique dealer now you see our friendship with him it's not great it's very early on so with him we can identify items which is essentially so it's made the average one star jacket to a, you know a nicer one star jacket which all these items not really any good to us but we can sell them now so we've got extra friendship with them and we can sell all these let's see what kind of money we're talking so this blade nice blade but we've, we've got a decent blade ourselves now 
303. Now there's the rent covered already. There's the rent, and, and I think the girls' wages was 100 after the bonus, so it's... Yeah, money doesn't seem hard to come by. Which, I don't like. I, li I like it to be worth something, but at the minute it's not worth much. So you just made six grand just for the fun of it. Bartender, this is where we can place orders for food and drinks. And they give us different perks, different um, little buffs. So let's see, we can order a few things. Let's just order. Let's treat them, shall we? Bite one of everything. <laughs> see the face change. Look, happy, sad. Happy, sad. Why is she sad? Ah, oh, teenagers are forbidden to drink liquor. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm full. No, they can't get any happier than what they are, but yeah, you see the perks with that. Oh, and he gets friendship points as well because we've um, spent some money in his bar. Okay, in the warehouse is where you can do crafting, which again, it gets even more complicated. So we can pick his weapon, but to upgrade it, we need these parts. So what we can do to get them parts, we can salvage weapons, items, armor, clothes. And does it give you a preview of what you're going to get? Um, that's the history list, just to make it easier to click between. Which I like, a lot of games don't have something like that little history. Let's just try this blue one, salvage results. It's not telling us, so maybe we need to do it first. Salvage. Yeah, we got upgraded fiber, chip ram green. Not what we needed for that one, but you get the idea. There's so much to, to do. You'll just get basic items after basic. And green items after green, so yeah. But again, at the same time you're doing this, you're not, salv you're not selling it and you're not identifying it. Oh, you probably could identify first and salvage if you wanted. These items you find during fights, you know, like sal Savage Beast Fang. You can extract stuff from them, which gives us materials that you use in other fights. Oh, sorry, in other items. With the likes of that, we'll get one Beast Fang and one Frost Dust. Crafting is unavailable. Maybe we haven't unlocked the Frost Dust yet. I'm not too sure. Okay, this is the mastery board where the masteries we unlocked during the mission. You can equip them and unequip them in here. But let's just get rid of a couple. Oh. Let's just get rid of a couple. Unequip. Unequip for installment. See, that's one of the good ones, that one. So you get empty and then you get these training points up here. So you click on the slot you want. Oh, sorry, in those. You look at the field of what you want, you can filter it to available only. And then it shows you what you've got available. Now you only learn these through actually playing and, as you saw before, fighting. So that Forced Ormond, that's one really overpowered skill. If adjacent enemy uses an attack ability or approaches within one tile of you, you will responsive attack. This can only be one time between each time, so it's essentially a free hit, and for a strong melee character, it's it's a game changer, really is. But they're filtered as well, basic ones with perks like critical damage, patience, increases armor, etc. Attack focus perks, ability perks, sets, uh, there's, there's so much going on, there really is. And that's just for this guy. If we go on this guy, he's got different perks again. The unlockers, they level up. And look how many there is. So obviously the better perks require more points. So you can always get rid of something you think you're not going to use. Optimism, get rid of that. And then that'll allow you to get a couple more. Like, let's get rid of that. Unequip. See, and all these level 2s are upgrade are available now. So pretty much after playing 20 hours in this game... It's, it's brilliant, it's got everything, it's got great story, great characters, great animation. The only thing I think's letting it down is there's no voiceovers on the characters, whether it's Japanese or whatever, there's no... They just do the odd sound effects and then it's all text-based, which is fine, but you know, you could have got a bit more personality to the characters. The mission layout is very good, there's a lot to do, a lot of different areas to go to, different style, uh, styles of missions to pick from. So you're not always forced to do what the game is telling you to do. There's a lot of side quests up here. People ask for help and you know you can choose to help a friend out or not help them if you don't want to. Some of these we couldn't have even recruited. We could have just ignored them.
them and they wouldn't be here right now. There's absolutely so many ways to play this game. We can move location, which we've not long unlocked. This place called Shooter Street. Okay, in Shooter Street, you get to see other people online running around. I just saw someone then. Digi Chris. Hi, Digi Chris. Uh, it looks pretty empty at the minute, not gonna lie. And it's kind of a central hub. So yeah, in this zone, you can play a trade with other people and you can see information about the company, which is a nice little feature. It's, it's a, not the type of feature you get in a game like this often, so always take that on. You got all the shops, warehouses for armor, gun shops, accessory shops, size stone dealer, which is totally different power buff to get into. Data, this is where you see all the information on everything. Catalogue, the encyclopedia of everything that's happened. So, in case you're ever not sure of something, it's all there for you. The junk shop, he sells all, yeah, craft the materials and nice, okay. Okay, so I think we'll call it there. I know there wasn't much fighting gameplay, but you, you get the general idea of what's involved. We've seen it all before, but it's it's been very nicely done in this game. There's so much replayability. There's so many collectibles, teams you can have, enemies you can fight, stories to drive. You get a lot of um, choices. Like a situation will happen and you'll get given four choices and... Like, like with the wages before where you had a choice to give a bonus or not. And what was also good, it shows you what other people online have chosen as well. Like one, one question could be, for example, do you save the cat? Now it'll say 80% of people said yes. You know, 10% said no. And you know, the other 10% said kick it. You know, that, that kind of stuff. By the way, don't kick cats. If we could, this dealer has a request for us. Exit. Okay, this gen general dealer looks like he's got a quest icon, so let's see what he's got. The uninvited guest in the cargo. Irene chasing off the villains. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's Al. Oh, helps me get the fabric. Okay, so yeah, he's just um, randomly offered as a quest, and it looks like he gets some good crafting rewards for it. You can choose one of the below rewards, so you can postpone it or accept it. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck. And also, now when we go back to the panel, They'll have that little icon next to it, we'll know it's a quest mission. Beast Keeper, yeah. Maybe this is where the healer and the silver teamer manage beasts, yeah, there's no beast to leave to the manager. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be collecting of animals and adding them to the team, which, again, I say this game's got everything. Okay, but that'll do for now, that's my final thoughts. Brilliant game, get it on your wish list, keep an eye on it, there's a lot of DLC, there's a lot of characters, there's a lot to do. Just just lose yourself in this game and, and really get involved and enjoy it and you won't regret it. Okay, take it easy, see you next time.